Here's how to change the spark plugs in a 1999 Toyota Camry V6. Good idea to disconnect the battery. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench and undo this nut. First I'm going to remove this cover using a hex socket. This piece just pulls right off. Next I'm going to remove three 10 millimeter bolts. Next we're going to take off the ignition coil, just pulling it away from the spark plug, squishing the wire and pulling it back. Take this out. Next I'm going to use a 6 inch extension with a 5 8 spark plug socket and I tape them together so they don't fall out into the hole. I'm using my 3 8 ratchet to remove the spark plug. And here is the old spark plug. This is the old plug and that's the new plug. The originals are Denso and the one I'm putting in are NGK. I'm just going to put a little bit of anti-seize on the new spark plugs. Not too much. I'm just going to install the new spark plug. Just thread it in by hand first. I'm just going to torque this down until it's snug. Put the wire back on the ignition coil. Put the ignition coil back onto the engine. And replace the 10 millimeter bolt. And tighten that up. To get to the rear spark plugs, we have to make way by removing this ground wire here and the PVC tube down here. To do that, we have to remove this 12 millimeter nut. To remove the PVC tube, I'm gonna push this back and then use my fingers to undo this clamp here. Squeezing it, and pulling it back. Like that, now the clamp is loose. And then pull the whole tube right off the PVC valve, like that. And I'm just going to pull off the PVC pipe. It's the same kind of clamp like this where you have to squeeze these and pull it back it's underneath the intake manifold. And then just pull the pipe off. So now with the wires and tube out of the way, I can clearly see the middle spark plug and the first spark plug right here. To get the first plug out, you just have to wiggle this connector pull it straight up and out. To get the middle spark plug out, which is this guy right here, I'm going to twist the connector, pull it up and out. Like that. Alright, to get the driver's side spark plug at the back, I'm going to come in from behind the throttle body and wiggle the wire, pull it out. That's it right there. To get the driver's side plug out from the back, I got my 5 8 spark plug socket taped to a 6 inch extension. I'm going to come around the back here. The wall, like that. That's it, it's locked onto the plug. And then take my 3 8 inch ratchet, connect it to the tension, and then undo the spark plug. Just gonna pull out the spark plug here. I'm installing the back driver side plug. Got anti seize on the threads. I 
This is how you put in the ignition coil for the rear spark plug on the driver's side. It just goes in and snaps right down into the spark plug. So here's how we got the ratchet on the middle spark plug of the back. It's basically using those extensions. And then we reach over here. Pulling out the middle spark plug. Tightening up the rear middle plug. Alright, we're putting in the rear wire for the middle spark plug. So, to get the rear plug on the passenger side of the car, I'm going to use my 6 inch extension attached to my 5 8 socket. Put it in, down in the hole and then grab my previous ratchet. Just tightening up this passenger side rear spark plug. Install the last wire on the passenger side. I'm just going to reinstall the PCV hose. This side goes to the PCV valve and this side goes underneath the intake plenium. With the intake side of the hose on, I'm just going to put it on the PCV valve. And then tighten up this clamp. Replacing the ground wires. Finally, we're just replacing the cover. These two clips here are going to clip onto these two spots in the fuel rail. and then screw in the hex. Replace the battery lug. Everything's all tightened up. We're gonna start it up to see how it runs. <laughs> 